الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد و علی آلہ و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد علامات اہل السنتی والجماعہ from the signs of اہل السنہ those people who adhere to kitab Allah wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is one of the first and incredibly important principles is that Ahl sunnah and from the signs of Ahl sunnah is al-inqiyad wa ruju'i ila dalili min kitab Allah wa sunnati rasulihi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Ahl sunnati wa jama'ah Ahl sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam they adhere to the they were adhere to and they return to and to the evidences from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty and the Sunnah of Mustafa Salawatu Rabbi wa Salamuhu Alayhi and that's how their religion is based upon. Unlike Ahla Takfir and the people who spend their time speaking about the leaders of the Muslims or speaking about the their brothers and sisters in Islam and freeing themselves and dividing and splitting the jama'ah which all of these things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said are mithmum or are sinful and wicked things and all of these things Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said are wicked and are dangerous and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem وَاَعْتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا And hold on all of you steadfast together to the rope of Allah and do not divide. And as we said on more than one occasion, that dividing or adhering to the حَبْلِ اللَّهِ the rope of Allah refers to the Qur'an. And in some, some of the Salaf explained it as the Sunnah and some explained it as the Qur'an and the Sunnah and other than that. And none of those definitions, ta'arud, none of them have uh, any contradiction, but rather they strengthen one another and show us the importance of adhering to Kitabillah wa Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. However, the people who busy themselves with the rulers, they don't look at the principles of the Sharia, they don't look at the Kawaid from Kitab Allah or Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or the Minhaj of the Salaf Salih but rather they take the Minhaj of the Salaf of the Salaf Talih those people of misguidance those people who preceded them in Takfir like the Khawarij who the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam referred to as Kilab Al-Nar Al-Khawarij Hum Kilab Al-Nar Kama Qala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam those people follow their sunnah to where they busy the Muslims with issues of rulership declaring new categories of tawheed that were unknown to the Salaf al-Saleh as far as a singular uh, 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 a, a category of tawheed mustaqillah in and of itself but rather they understood tawheed from all of its aspects of tawheed which can be categorized as the ulama have categorized by following the adilla, by looking at the adilla from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, to be of three main categories: tawheed al rububiyya tawheed al uluhiyya wa tawheed al asma'i wa sifat, meaning the tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa taala's lordship and His rulership. Hakamiyah is included in there, and the tawheed of al-uluhiyya that all the worship belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and tawheed al-asma'i wa sifat that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has divine names and attributes that are taken from the Quran and taken from the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that's how we understand them and we stop where the salaf stopped we don't explain them in ways uh, that fit our desires or fit our uh, limited understanding but rather we stop where the salaf stop we stop where Muhammad ibn Abdullah explained for us if he said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends to the to the lowest heavens in the last third of the night then we accept it we don't say how we don't ask kaif kafia nor do we negate it 
like the Ma'attala, nor do we make ta'wil like the Ashaira wa Maturidiya and and the other and the Ahbash and other groups that have spun off from that wicked innovation. But rather Ahlus Sunnati wal Jama'ah they accept it as the Dalil as it came. Kama Ja'a Ana Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And with regards to the rulers, Ahl Sunnati will Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ahl Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they go with the evidences and they leave those issues to the ulama, to Ahl Ahl Hilwa Akt, to the people of knowledge, the people of ilm, wa hikmah, who know the Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Fahim al Salaf, and they're known for their fadl and known to be of those who domestically kitab wa sunnah then we leave those affairs to them determining this one is out of, out of the religion and that one is out of the religion because it's so serious as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in authentic hadith that when one of you declares do not say uh, O Kafir to, to your brother because when you do this that descends upon one of you one of you uh, that that shows us the wa'i, the seriousness of trying to make a hukum, those hukum of takfir and declaring someone to be outside of the fold of Islam, that it's very serious and that it's something that has shurut, has principles and it has the wabit as we've mentioned in some of our lectures prior to this, of some of those principles and conditions and mu'ana to takfir. And so, we ask that Allah the Almighty guides us all to that which is right and correct and protects us from the evil of Ahl takfir and those people who decree other Muslims to be kafirs and innovators without the right to do so or fasiks without the right to do so without the looking at the ahkam and without having the ability to look at the nusus and make those judgments based on kitab wa sunnah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam